Okay, so welcome back guys. In the previous video, I showed you how to create a new account on public API and quickly set up um, the WordPress plugin with a WordPress website and then link it back to the public API website. In case you don't know how to do that, you can watch the previous video and then come back right at this one. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make use of the um, music API with your WordPress website. So I'm going to be using this same WordPress setup to install the music plugin. It's all going to work. So that means you can also use all of our plugins on the same website. It doesn't matter. They are not going to conflict with one another and they're going to work perfectly well. So to do that, as we know, the first thing I need to do now is that I can't use this same token with another API because this is for the news API. So that means I'm going to need to create a new site with these same details and then generate a token for the music API. So to do that, I'm going to go back to the dashboard. Then I'll click on add new site. So I'm going to call this music test. And then the URL is going to be the same URL as that. Then we all know what this does. If you don't know how to use the hook type and instead of account, you can check the previous tutorial. And here I'm going to select music API and then click, click on create a new site. So once that is done, as you can see, we've got a new token here to use. I'm going to change this to test one. So, so I'm going to update that. Okay, so I'm going to copy this token now, but before that, I'm going to download the um, music API plugin. So to do that, I just need to go over to my repositories and search for the music plugin. So this is it. Then I'll go I'm going to download the zip file. Download zip. So I'll wait for that to download. Once it's done, okay, that's done. Then I'll go over to my WordPress admin dashboard, then go back to add new. So click on upload plugin, and then I'm going to browse for the music plugin I've just downloaded. As you can see, I've selected the music plugin I just downloaded. So I'll click on install now, and then the plugin should be installed for us. So that's done. So the next thing we need to do is to activate the plugin. And once that is done, we go to the settings. So as you can see, this is the music plugin and this is for the news plugin. So this is the one where we want to edit now. So I'm going to click on settings. And I'm going to paste the plugin, the token for the music API. So let me quickly show you why you can't use the um, token for news API for a music plugin. So if I go over here now and select the news API token, the site I created for news API, if I copy over the token here to my WordPress website, so let me just paste this here and click on save all changes. The plugin is going to give me an error message. So as you can see, it says we were unable to verify your token. Kindly try again. Response return status field. The API provided is invalid. So because you are trying to use the news API token for a music API, that is a conflict and is not going to work. So you need to make sure you create a site, a new token for the plugin you are using. So for now, I'm using the music API plugin. So I need to use the music API token. So for every music API plugin you want to use, you need to generate a new token. If not, it's going to overwrite the hook URL for each of the sites you are using it on. So that means you need to create a new site for a new plugin. So I'm going to copy the correct token now and go back to my WordPress setup. So I'll post that and click on save all changes. So now this should save the plugin automatically. So that is done. 
so this does not have any settings it just puts posts new um music content to our wordpress website so if we go over here now to verify we can see that the webhook url now would be set i'm making a refresh so if i come back here as you can see the hook url is set for us so now the same way if we want to test if this is working we can just click on um test hook and that's going to make a test post to our wordpress website and we got back your hook is working perfectly fine if you don't get this message that means something is wrong with your setup you can contact us and we'll try and help you fix the issue but most of the time the plugin should work directly so also you are going to want to subscribe to this source here we've only got one source for now though we are thinking of adding other sources later but for now we will have um, the niger flavor source so you'd want to subscribe to this if you don't subscribe the plug the web, web, uh, website is not going to post any news any music content to your wordpress website so you'd want to subscribe make sure you subscribe to a source here and this is the only source for now so if i come back to the um website here now let me go back to home okay so my bad as you can see this is the new this is the test hook i just i made the other time it has already posted the what's it called for us the music content then it has a download link here so basically this is how the music api works so with this we are done with the setup for the music plugin so users can easily play the music directly on your web on your wordpress website or they can decide to opt in to download the music so each one of them is going to work whichever they want to do so that's what the plugin so as you can see it's now streaming the music for me so that's all about that in the next video i'm going to be showing you how to make use of the tv series plugin how to install it and how to set up the plugin thank you very much for watching and good day